Hello everyone, our names are Jamie and Elizabeth, and in this slideshow, we will be talking about the etiquette and manners in Korean culture. Korean culture is very polite and courteous. People tend to show great respect to others, especially strangers, and tend to behave in a very careful manner. In Korea, we usually greet someone with a bow. The lower you bow, the more respect is being shown, and even how long the bow is being held can show the level of respect you have for the person to whom you are bowing to. The highest level of respect that can be shown through bowing is called kunjar, which is translated into big bow. This type of bowing is typically used for formal occasions and holidays, such as Seollal, Lunar New Year, and Chesa, which is a traditional Korean ceremony for respecting ancestors. This involves men to fully get down on their knees with hands on the ground, and women to slightly sit down with their legs together and hands near their chest. Besides the bow greeting, Korean culture also uses handshakes. Korean people do not like it when the hand is gripped very tightly, so a soft grab will be better when you go in for that handshake. Also, you might be seen as impolite and disrespectful when you only use one hand. So you must use both hands with one hand on the bottom of the hand you are using for the handshake. Along with the bows and handshakes, there are expressions Korean people use for their greetings. When you want to say hello, you say 안녕하세요. The person who initiates a bow usually says 만나서 반갑습니다, which means nice to meet you. There are also two ways of saying goodbye. One is 안녕히 계세요, which means please stay well. And usually the person who is leaving says it to the person who is staying. The other way of saying goodbye is 안녕히 가세요, which means please go well. And the person who is staying says it to the person who is leaving. In Korean culture, respect plays a big role. There is formal language, 존댓말, spoken to the people older than you. And 반말, which is informal, for friends or someone who is younger. For example, in Korea, there is two ways to say sorry. The formal way is 죄송합니다 and the informal way is miyane. Table manners are also very big in Korea. While eating at the table, hitting the chopsticks against the bowls or holding the rice bowls in your hand is seen as rude and informal. And when going out to drink with friends, the youngest of the group will pour a drink for his or her older friends. Thank you for watching our slideshow and we hope you learned a lot about etiquette and manners in Korea.